Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 4 of the Photoshop tutorial series. So today we're going to look at what the basic selection tool or marquee uh, selection tool is inside of uh, Photoshop and then we are also going to talk about layers. So uh, in order to create a new canvas you have to go to file and go to new over here and then let me just select a preset for example let me just select a web over here and just press ok just for the sake of uh, creating layers. So in order to use the selection tool, uh, you can see that here inside the uh, icons, you can see that some of the icons don't have the uh, small triangular arrow right here and some of them do. So if you have a strong uh, small triangular arrow, then what you can do is you can click and hold to access more function of the uh, same icons, or um, same uh, similar tools right there. For example, here in the marquee selection tool, uh, once I clicked and hold it, you can see that um, I have my rectangular marquee tool over there, my optical marquee tool, my single row and single column marquee tool over there. So let me just use these tools in order to make some shapes onto my canvas right here. So uh, first of all, before I do that, I want to set the colors over here. So over here at the top, that's the foreground color and at the back, that's the background color. So if you were to double click on the foreground color, you can choose a color, you can choose the color spectrum and then choose the shade of the color, press OK. And then double click on the background and then choose a color, press OK. So I can even swap the colors by clicking on this um, icon right here. And if I were to press this, it'll go back to black and white. So now in order to apply the color, let me just select a rectangular marquee tool. I'm just going to drag it onto my canvas and I'm going to press control backspace on my keyboard and let's see what happens. So when I press control and back, uh, backspace, then it actually brings out the background color onto the canvas right here. And if I were to drag it and press alt and backspace, then what it does is it brings out the foreground color right here in the canvas. Similarly, I can also use elliptical marquee tools. Just grab it like this, press control backspace and alt backspace to get similar icons right here, uh, so similar colors right here. If you want a perfect uh, cube or so, then you can just hold shift and drag so it, you can get a perfect cube just like that. So perfect square, just like that. Control backspace, there you go. And if you want a perfect circle instead of an oval, again, shift and drag, then you get uh, you, you press uh, shift and hold and drag and then you get a perfect circle just like this control backspace and there you go so in order to deselect anything after you select it you can press just press control D and it deselects so you can uh, so you can go back to the normal mode but once you do this uh, you you realize that if I go back to the moving tools then I cannot move the layers right here so this is actually locked onto the background itself so if you want to work with Photoshop, then it is always a good idea to work with layers. So if I go to the uh, marquee selection tool again, you can see that there's single row marquee tool. Again, this is for rows. So I can press control backspace in order to add in rows just like this. And then you can go to single column marquee tool, control backspace. And there you go. That's how you add in the market, uh, use the selection tool and then add in colors over there. So let us do this with layers now. So in order to uh, revert this back, I'm just going to select white on the background color. Press Control A so that all of my canvas is selected and press Control Backspace so that it applies the background color onto the background right here. So here, this is something known as layers. So layers is actually uh, how you place the objects right there. So in order to create a new layer, you just press on the new layer icon right here. So this creates a new layer. Let me just create it. You can even rename the layer if you were to click on the text just like this. So let's say this is going to be my oval one and I'm going to create another layer and that is going to be oval two. So over here in oval one, I'm just going to select the oval shape uh, drag this out right here. Let me just change the background color right here and press control backspace. So I got my background color and in the foreground. I'm, so uh, do note that uh, whatever layer I select on select is where the um, graphics will actually be drawn. So select the second uh, layer and then drag it out right here. Press off backspace and you can see that this shape the oval shape is actually on oval 2 now 
So now if you were to press Ctrl D, you can actually move the shape around and to move the shape around, you can <coughs> just go to the uh, move tool and then drag around and you can see that this is actually on top of oval one. So if I were to drag this down, you can see. So if I were to drag this down below the uh, oval one, then you can see now the oval one is in top. So no matter where you click and drag, you can see that oval one is moving because oval one layer is being selected right here. So if I were to select oval two, then this layer will move around. So this is how you place the layers inside of um, Photoshop and that is how you actually design. So you can create another layer. So let's name this uh, square. So let me create a square right there. Let me just select another color over here and just press OK. I'm going to make a perfect square. So hold shift and drag and alt backspace. So I get my foreground color and you can see that it is actually, let me just press control D so that it gets rid of the selection. Let me just drag it around and you can see that my square is actually between oval one and oval two. Oval one being at the bottom, oval uh, square being over here in the center and oval two being here in the foreground. So this is how the layers work inside of uh, Photoshop. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share.